Okay, so I posted this question on Atheist Republic's Facebook page, uh, Twitter, and YouTube accounts. Uh, it says, what are your thoughts on Ilan Omar? Uh, and I'm going to go through, highlight some of your answers. Uh, so I'm going to be doing this more often. Um, I'm going to go, so if you want to make sure that you, your question, your answers get highlighted, please go and follow us on Twitter, Facebook. There, on YouTube actually, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, because we have less followers there, and, and Facebook is like 2 million plus, and Twitter is like 100k, more than 100k, and YouTube is our smallest outlet, so they're more likely that your comments are going to get highlighted if you respond to on YouTube. Because right now, this one that we, I asked, uh, and I got um, 1,200 answers, right? So I'm only going to be able to check some of the top responses so on Facebook. So I think on Facebook, we got 1,200. We'll see what how much we got on Twitter and YouTube. Um, so Michael saying, I'm an army vet and a resident of Minnesota. We're very proud of her and our progressive state. So, by, by the way, a lot of people are like uh, think that Atheist Republic page is mostly, f you know, there's a lot of CS following it. Um, there are, but the percentages, they're just very active. But some people are like, oh, how could you trust that these answers are for from atheists, given that you have so many theists on your page? I mean, the percentage, if you look at our data statistics, the percentage is extremely low, the theist, but they're just very active. So you, if you're active on our page, you're just going to see some theist comments. But that doesn't mean that most people are atheists here. Uh, Reming is saying, I love her. So, uh, by the way, some people are surprised how, my, how could a, a Muslim a politician get so many support by atheists, right? But I don't see why that, I mean, I don't see why somebody being Muslim should mean that an atheist can't support them as a politician or a Christian or whatever, given that, I mean, if, if, if I go to, I'm an atheist, I'm an anti-Islam, anti anti-theist activist, very much against Islam, but if I see it, if I'm going to a doctor, and they're a good doctor, they happen to be Muslim, I don't give a shit, I mean, I don't give a shit that they're Muslim, they're a good doctor, so I'm just going to go with a good doctor, like, so I think it's the same thing with a politician, right, I mean, if I find, like, if, if the doctor starts talking about Islam, obviously I'm not going to talk about Islam, uh, unless somebody, unless it's, we're in a place where we are going to be talking about Islam, uh, or, is, or the doctor starts talking about Islam, which would be weird and interesting, but I would love to talk about uh, religion to anybody, but I won't, I won't hold back against my, uh, on my views against Islam, but I'm not going to personally, I mean, everybody has shitty ideas, I probably have a lot of shitty ideas, I don't know which one of my ideas are shitty, but I'm not going to, like, people could be very stupid about something and be very smart about something else at the same time, so just because they have some shitty views, that doesn't mean they're not a good doctor, same thing with a politician. Um, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying, like, I'm not making a judgment right now on Elon. I'm just saying just because somebody is a Muslim, I, I'm, I'm, it doesn't mean that you as an atheist and even an anti-Islam anti or anti-religion atheist, that doesn't mean that you should stop supporting them just because you hold that position against Islam. Um, Elisa is saying, I am proud, I'm a proud Minnesota, Minnesota, as I said, and I have met her and love her. Wish there was a little bit more reason behind some of these comments. Like, I mean, it's fine, but I just wish I could see some comments where people are giving some explanation for why they like or not like somebody. Uh, so so far, I'm very interested. It's interesting to see it's mostly support on Atheist Republic, especially given that our page gets accused of being uh, ha having a lot of racists and bigots on it. So. The truth is, like, we have many different kinds of people on our page, but mostly when the top comments are, and you know, something extremely bigoted, racist, or bigoted, is that that's the only pe time people are like, oh, look at Atheist Republic followers, look at the kind of people uh, that follow Atheist Republic. But then when we post something like this, 
And note one, two, three, four, five of the top comments. Um, look here, Paul is saying she's from Minnesota. I love her. Five is from atheists that are supporting a Muslim politician. They don't come and highlight this because because you know you just be, you're selective when you're against something like atheist republic. You, you're selective with your with what you want to highlight. Francisco is saying I love wow even the sixth one is a top comment is also I love her. Um, Comment says, I love her. Nice to have a congresswoman with the guts to provoke the embarrassment of of per, I think the person here. There's missing of person we call president. I think there's an article missing there. Um, but I, I'm not sure. Janice is saying, I admire her courage. However, I am not in her district, so what does it matter? What I think. Oh, Janice, what are you talking about? So I okay, I'm from Canada, and I'm gonna have an opinion on her. And I don't care that I'm not from the United States. I, I will have an opinion on as well. What do you, I don't really get that. Okay, let me actually finish her comment before I comment back. Okay, say so I am not her in her di district, so why does it matter what I think or we think? Her voters will determine her th uh, trajectory. What? Okay, so so th that's going to be, you're going to be very limited on what you can comment on, Janice, if that's your standard. Do you, it's very interesting because, you know, everybody on the, for example, here's an example. Do these people, when, I'm pretty sure a lot of people here that are supporting Iran, uh, most of them probably hate Trump. So, do they think that if somebody from France comes and says, oh, American Trump is such a shitty president, do these people will say, like, yeah, I agree with you, or do we, and you're right, and this is why, or they say, yeah, you're, that's right, but you're French, so why would you say that? Your opinion doesn't matter. Like, what the hell are you guys talking about? We, you know, people is, you know, it's the, the great thing about the internet is that we could, let, like, in fact, I want, you, you should want people to come and comment, more people to come and comment about congressman from a district, because you could learn from people's insight whether they're from that district or not. Like, I don't understand. Why does it matter? Why does it matter? Because people might have interesting opinions that you could learn from. That's why it matters. Uh, and also, because a congressman, even though they represent the district, they uh, they pass laws and you know that affects the entire country and the world. So that's why another reason. Mark is saying, I dislike anyone who is, especially Iran. Actually, Iran Omar is. Wait, I'm going to go back to Genesis comment. Iran has taken anti-war positions, right? Anti-foreign policy, anti, you know, um, anti-foreign influence from foreign countries, lobbying, uh, American politicians. So yeah, the, what what she's doing has a lot of impact on uh, on pretty much everyone that lives on this planet. So there you go. Uh, Belinda is saying she is a true American. Okay, that's a no true Scotsman. A uh, reverse no true Scotsman. There is no tr She's a true American. I mean, what do you mean it's true American? Because you, I love her and her strength. She stands up to the bullying. Okay, so maybe it's a reverse uh, no true Scotsman. If uh, maybe actually no, I take that back. Because maybe if you're saying she you, because she's so great, she's a true American. Well, that's bullshit because as long as you have an American citizenship, you're um, you're an, you're a true American, whether you're a good person or you're not, or whether you're a hero or not. But if you're saying she's a true American in response to the people that are saying she's not an American, then your point is valid, okay? But if you are saying that you love her so much that she's like a true American, no, if anybody with any uh, uh, all the people with American citizenship are equally American. But I assumed what you mean, so sorry about that. Mark is saying, I dislike anyone who is a part of the government that governs me against my will. Oh, wow. Uh, especially since I am perfectly capable of uh, properly governing my own actions. Okay, that's very... Okay, this person is against all things government. And you, Mark thinks he is capable uh, of living governing his own, I wonder what, I don't think he would make it past 30 years old 
if we lived in a world where we had no governments. Uh, Ed is saying she is my hero. It amazes me how bravely she speaks. I want to see some negative comments so I could respond to that. This is like, how far down are we? It's amazing. Okay. <sighs> um, she's my hero. It amazes me how bravely she speaks truth to power. It gives me hope that this country actually can be better. Okay, so since nobody's bringing it up, I, you know, there's some fair attacks on Elon and there's some extremely unfair attacks on Elon. But I'm not able to comment on this here because nobody's bringing them up. There are some, you know, there are some things that I don't like about what she said. Uh, but I also think she is also being unfairly targeted for some of the things that she didn't do wrong. But anyways, I'm just going to focus on the comment. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, we're getting into some stuff now. Uh, Shane is saying, my problem with her is that it appears to me that she struggles to make her ideas, responses clear when she has uh, prepared her dialogue. She seems much more relatable, intelligent, and articulate when she speaks her mind and from the heart than when she is reading off a prepared paper. This is not a jab at her reading skills. Oh, okay. I mean, that's, I, I don't know actually about that. Uh, I, most of the videos I've seen of her, she was speaking, it was in a prepared speech. So I haven't seen the ones that it was a prepared speech, so I don't know how to comment on she. But that's, that does it, whatever, whatever, I mean, okay, so that's just a feedback for Elon not to prepare your speech, just speak organically. Patrick is saying, I believe her heart's in the right place, okay. Mel is saying she doesn't represent my state or community, but I'd be proud if she did. Dylan is saying, after her remarks on 9-11, I am no fan of hers. Okay, finally somebody, wow, we had to go really come down. Okay. I do think that her remarks on 9-11, for people that don't know, I think that it was unfairly, I mean, the only the only thing that you might have, I think somebody could say that was wrong with it was it maybe the phrasing of it. I mean, I've been um, I'm guilty of that many times, but I think a lot of, so she said when she was talking about 9-11 attacks, she referred to the 9-11 attacks as some people did something. Some people like, oh, really? Some people did something? You're just referring to the greatest terrorist attack in the United States that some people did something? But again, if you just listen to the entire thing, the point wasn't to dismiss how horrific the attack was. The point was in something completely different. Maybe the phrasing was not very well, you know, but that, was a, that wasn't the point of the conversation. In fact, in the same speech, she referred to them as terrorists, right? So it's not like she was supporting Al-Qaeda, like, no, like, if you look at the edited videos, it just makes it seem a lot worse than it is, and it's, I think it's very, that was very unfair, and, and he just criticized her on her speaking te techniques, I mean, there's many things I, I and many other people say that you're like, yeah, maybe you want to rephrase that, and if you point out to somebody, you're gonna, like, ooh, yeah, I can see why saying it like that could be seen as not, you know, not very, uh, could be come off as wrong, and maybe I should phrase it differently, but just be charitable to the way you interpret pe what people are saying, unless they actually say that that's what they meant, like, uh, if you look at what she was saying the entire, during the entire speech, that wasn't the point, she was trying to say that there was a terrorist attack, and a lot of Muslims are now being unfairly um, held responsible for the actions of a few people, which is true. A lot of Muslims are being unfa unfairly targeted in the United States for the actions of uh, a few terrorists. Um, I mean, I'm an anti-Islam advocate, and I still, frankly, I mean, uh, this goes without saying, you should still, just because you're against people's ideas, this doesn't mean you should treat them like shit, and I feel sorry that a lot of people in the United States are treated like shit just because for something that they were not responsible for. So, I mean, that point, I agree with her on that. So, uh, phrasing, some people did something, not the best way uh, to say, refer to a terrorist attack, but that was not the point of the conversation. So, yeah, I mean, again, I don't want to do what about is them. I would just want to point, and just doing this about uh, to pro provide an example, 
Actually, no, I'm not going to do that because it would be what about us. So, never mind. Um, let me see if somebody should I click on the responses to this, or that would that would make this video way longer. Give me feedback on how this video is going. Uh, so for future. By the way, I'm going to post the next. Actually, let me know what you think the next question should be. Okay, make sure you have a question that because page polls gives you only two options, right? So make sure you give me a question that ha could have two options on it. Oh, by the way, let me actually. Um, I, I mean, I don't, I don't have, so I have to answer to be able to see the results. I don't like her or dislike her. So I'm just going to vote just to be able to see the results. Not because I'm taking any of these positions, just to be clear. Okay, so 63% are saying I like her, 37% saying I don't like her. I'm going to do put this in poll, uh, every time I put like a, a um, poll where there's two answers, people say like, why is there only two options, where there should be this option, that option. Well, you can have multiple options on personal, on, on groups, but you can't have the, more than two options on, on the page. So it has to be two options. And I also say like, well, if you have a different answer, you could put it in the comment section. That's the whole point, you know, you're not limited to just answering the poll. So I don't really understand why people could keep complaining about that. Um, so let me know what the next question you guys should you think should, should be in the comment section, um, and then um, you know also make sure it's a question that could have two answers. Uh, you know, I could put a make turn it into a poll, plus more comment more. You know, and also if people don't want to answer any of the poll, they could use a comment section. And also please make sure you ask a question that we have some division within the atheist community about it. like oh do you feel like a question saying like do you think Islam is a violent uh, religion I mean that's uh, you're gonna get 99% respond yes I, I hope at least on atheist republic so that would be a strange maybe a better question that would get more di divided answer would be do you think Islam is more violent than Christianity and it was I mean I agree yes it is but that would have a little bit more of a debate going on in the comment section or in the poll. So, yeah. So, send me your suggestions for what questions to ask in the in the comments. But I'm gonna go to Twitter, I think. Should it, um, because yeah, let me. I have no. Um, okay. Let me actually go to Twitter. Okay, so let's do Twitter now. Twitter got, Twitter got. I don't like her more. Wow, that's interesting. So, Atheist Republic's face, it, uh, Facebook um, responses got mostly uh, sixty-three percent. Wow, it's the exact opposite. So on Facebook, we got sixty-three percent like her, um, and thirty-seven. I do not like her. On Twitter, we got almost just by 1% difference, 62% they said I don't like her, 38% I like her. So exactly the opposite of Facebook, which is, well not exactly, just off by 1%, which is very interesting. Um, so what does that say about Twitter? I don't know. So let's see what the top comment says. So Red is saying, I don't like her ideology. She seems to push fundamentalist talking points and makes excuses for anti-semitism I don't wait what fundamentalist I haven't seen her pushing some fundamentalist talking points like what she she went to like she went dancing with LGBT group and stuff like that so you know actually she does get a lot at um, attacks from the Muslim community for her LGBT toler uh, tolerance and stuff like that so and the fact that she opposes Trump isn't enough for me. I can oppose extremism from both sides without having to ally with either of them. I don't know what extremism is she pushing. I haven't seen that. Uh, let me see what they're saying. Okay, Godless Hedgehog is saying I don't necessarily agree with her all her politics. However, the way she gets attacked is unfair. Every time I see people uh, hollering about something she said, I go look at up and in context and I find it yeah exactly I find that I side with her as she's usually being misrepresented I totally agree every time that I see people like completely really getting I really think that like okay this is something that I could 
see, like, she is being targeted because she's Muslim and she's wearing a hijab more than other, you know, like, the way that people are picking every single word that she's saying and really going after it is, I, I think, is, I'm not going to be, I'm not 100% sure about anything, but I can say with high probability that it's because she's a Muslim wearing hijab. And again, I say that as somebody that is against Islam, I don't think it's fair for you, for somebody to be, I don't, okay, I, it goes both ways. The people that are defending her sometimes also think that we shouldn't criticize her because she's a Muslim colored woman, whatever, and they are wrong. They want, they have a higher standard for, you know, they want more immunity for her, like more protection for her compared to other politicians. They're like, oh, it's not fair to attack her because she's a colored Muslim woman, which is r ridiculous. Uh, so they're playing, uh, the people that are defending her and herself actually is guilty of playing identity politics. But also the people are attacking her also. Uh, are playing identity politics because they have a higher standard like the way that they want every like every single sentence that she says is being put under my microscope and trying to be the come up with the least charitable interpretation of what she had said because she's a Muslim woman so I think both sides are guilty of that including herself she's guilty of that as well um she you yeah, know so she thinks you know people ask her what's your opinion about FGM and like and be like, you know, she gets really offended. You, you can't ask me that because I'm a Muslim woman. I mean, okay, maybe go, don't trust me. Go look at. I don't. I think that her reaction to that was unfair. She says she made it clear before. That's fair. Okay. Well, this woman just hasn't seen it. So, is I, I mean, she's you know, is just answer her question. She's like, how how many times I have to do it? This is. Do you think I have to clarify it every time? Well, it would have taken you less time to clarify it than having to complain about it. You could, she said, like, why would you ask me this? I have, I am against FGM, but female genital mutilation, very good for people that don't know, because it's a, a practice that is supported by Islam, which is horrific. So somebody asked her that, and she got offended. She was like, well, well how many times do I have to clarify this? I, I mean, and this is, this one was asked her very politely. I mean, the, you could just say like, and she said like, I am somebody that ha she Elon said I'm somebody that has fought against uh, FGM. So why would you ask me that? Well, just answer the question. Be like, yeah, I'm against it, and I have fought fought this. You know, FGM well, that that would be a great answer. Why can't that person ask you this question? Because you're saying that oh, you're asking me this because it's a colored woman. Well, what does that mean? They can't ask you that because you're a colored woman. Just I don't like. I really felt bad for that woman that was asking the question because she was she asked it very nice and politely. She wasn't being very rude about it. Um, so this person posted an article about oh so there's a so okay this, now I actually have to take Elon's side of this because this person posted uh, posted an article about the fact that Elon Omar, not the fact that the misrepresentation that Elon Omar refuses to refuses to condemn Al Qaeda, which is a really <laughs> this is a very, uh, if, I mean, if I mean, come on, guys, uh, that's a major accusation, okay? And honestly, I saw the video that they said, like the reporter is asking, "Do you would you condemn Al Qaeda? Will you condemn Al Qaeda?" And she's like just walking by. Another person asks her, "Oh, do you condemn Al Qaeda?" I mean, of course she condemns Al Qaeda. She she has condemned it many times. And I, I get why she gets frustrated when people come. I mean, this is not like, you might, you might think I'm contradicting myself because I just said that when somebody asked her about FGM, it was unfair that she said, you shouldn't be asking me this. I have clarified this, right? And now I'm saying when people are asking her about the she condemn Al Qaeda, she's, she sometimes doesn't answer because she goes, she's frustrated about how many times people are asking her this. And I think this, the difference is that it's more obvious that a congresswoman uh, condemns Al Qaeda than whether or not somebody stands for supports or against FGM. Unfortunately, it should be more of it should be obvious that people are against FGM because FGM is so horrific. But we have seen a lot of people, Muslim and non-Muslim, supporting FGM in ways. So it's not that clear if somebody is for it or <clears throat> or not. But to assume that somebody supports Al Qaeda because they're Muslim 
and you have and you have as she has answered she has said there of course they're evil they're a terrorist group they're, even in the speeches that people use uh, to say that she to, to say that she's dismissing Al Qaeda uh, she has referred to them as a terrorist group uh, so I, I see why not every single time she's answering the question because she sees it as a suggestion that she supports them because she's Muslim. And you know, I I've been called I because of my stance against Islam and other things. Um, people feel uh, have accused me of being um, Nazi sympathizer, and the uh, and, and on Twitter, for example, people there there are thousands of times, well, thousands of exaggeration, hundreds of times that somebody asked me to clarify whether I what do I mean by this and I and I can't just respond to every single one of them and at some point I'm like well I have done this more than 10 times if you haven't figured out what my position is and why I said that then you haven't done your research and I'm not going to spend my entire life just responding to every single one of these you know questions of course I'm not going to be able to do that so but the first one with regards to FGM I think you're sitting there she's asking a question politely and it wasn't. She wasn't suggesting that you support it. She was saying, coming out of your, coming from you, it might mean a lot to people. And if you had, and so, and she wasn't accusing you of supporting it. So, but I do see why all like, why these questions that other people are asking, do you support Al Qaeda? Because uh, you would assume that people, a congresswoman, condemns Al Qaeda. It's mostly a suggestion that. Because she's Muslim, that is not clear. So that is an unfair question, I think. And given that she already had clarified it, I see why sometimes she ignores the question and she refuses to answer. And you know, because she answer, has answered it many times. So, so, it's, and then as soon as she, you take one time that she refuses to answer, I'm like, oh look, she refuses to answer. So she must be on her Al Qaeda side. It's such a ridiculous way of, um, you know, I mean, she has done so many. Things that I'm against that it's so this is such a cheap shot at somebody, you know, you don't have to go that low I mean you could there are things to criticize about her um, This is a Osman is saying I like everyone who is against Trump. That's a very bizarre and weird standard Osman um, People could have people who are against Trump could have really good and really horrific could be really good people and could be very horrific evil people like I don't that's like I mean I hope that was not a serious response um somebody else saying if she's fighting against discrimination I'm with her I guess yeah okay let's just go to the last one so let me change the okay so to be able to see this I have to change the setting all right so again YouTube so again so see, on, on, on Facebook, we have 2 million followers. On YouTube, we have only, uh, we're almost getting at 14,000, right? And YouTube, sorry. So on, on Facebook, 2 million. On YouTube, 14,000. So if you, uh, if you want your answers to be highlighted, please come and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, we're really trying to, we got into the YouTube game late. So... Um, it's, and it's becoming very hard to grow on YouTube. So if we had started earlier, we wouldn't. We, we, so please come and subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, to help us out here. But also subscribe because to get our questions and have a higher um, get your questions, get your answers highlighted with a higher prob probability. Anyways, Claire is saying sadly I don't have enough information on her to make an informed decision, but I might. Do some further research now. Oh, good job, Claire. It's very good to see people saying, I don't know, because some people see that as a position, as a something weak uh, to say. Like, a lot of people think, like, if you don't have an opinion about something, if you say you don't know, that's coming from a position of weakness, and, so, you know, you have to know everything. I don't know where that comes from. But it, I think that's a position of strength and, and honesty when somebody says, I don't know. So take Claire, that's very good. Nilofar is saying she criticizes America. I mean, I think you're saying criticizes should be America for a uh, wrong reason. Her love for faith blinded her in many ways. She advocated lighter sentences for the ISIS fighters. She, she's an anti-Semite and not honest. 
Okay, so that's a lot of accusations right there. I don't know if they're backed up by anything, except I know what you're talking about regards to lighter sentences for ISIS. But she was arguing, that, by the way, she's, honestly, none of this suggests that she's sub for ISIS or Al-Qaeda. What she's suggesting is, what, she, what Elon is suggesting is, um, what they do in many European countries, a lighter sun is focusing on recovery, focusing on rehab, uh, rather than, so the case that, okay, so let me, let me, let me put this in context. So she criticizes America for the wrong reason. Well, I don't know what this is referring to, so I can't comment on that. And then saying her love for faith blinded her in many ways. So, I mean, uh, love for faith blinded her in many ways. I don't even know what this is referring to as well, so I can't respond to that. How has her love for flint can give us example? Like, I mean, maybe Nilofar has some examples, I just don't know what she's referring to, so I can't comment on that. This one I can't comment on, because, so let me read the last one that I can, the, the last part that also says she's anti-Semite and not honest, I don't know how you know that. Um, maybe, you know, the tweet, we could talk about the tweet that she put, made about it's all, you know, she had a tweet talking about, uh, saying that uh, they influence a Jewish, uh, uh, Israeli lobbying in the United States. A lot of people think that was anti-Semitic. I don't think you can know that that was anti-Semitic. Um, it might have been anti-Semitic, but I don't think anybody could actually say for certain that it was anti-Semitic. Especially because she also is in, against Saudi Arabia's influence on U.S. politics. So... If she's anti-Semitic, we're talking about Israel's influence on U.S. politics. Is she also now an anti-Muslim bigot? Because she's talking about Saudi Arabia's influence on U.S. politics. So, I mean, I don't see how that follows. But this part, the part that says she advocated lighter sentences for ISIS fighters, the, 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 what Renewfer is referring to was a case where... Um, well, there were some ISIS young, young people wanting to join ISIS. I don't think they were ISIS fighters. I think they were just planning on joining ISIS and they got caught. I might be wrong with that. But they were very young and she suggests that, you know, uh, the judge, I think, gave them like a 30 year like or some very long sentence. And she was suggesting that we need to focus on rehab and recovery. Um, and you do that with sympathy and kindness. Uh, rather than, you know, just harsh sentences, which really doesn't um, help, doesn't uh, avoid future terrorists. Like, if you want to avoid future harm, uh, you show people that they're wrong, that a country that they were wanting to attack, it showed them kindness and sympathy, and that's how you change minds. And honestly, I don't know what to write that. I mean, I'm not an expert. I haven't seen the research or what the best way is to respond, what the best sentences are to, uh, to, uh, to stop future harm. I just know whether, whether she's right on that or wrong on that. This is not something that suggests that she supports ISIS uh, at all. Uh, if you want by her sentences, like, I mean, what she's suggesting is what they do in many Western countries, in many European countries. I mean, they have done many terrorists in European countries. They focus on recovery rather than harsh sentences. And they think, I mean, they seem, I mean, it's, I've seen reports that th their methods are working. But I don't know how reliable those reports are, so don't take my word for it. But whether she's right or wrong on this, I don't think that her suggestion, her recommendation to the judge is at all a suggestion. I mean, it's a ridiculous suggestion that she supports ISIS, I think. Okay? Uh, I mean, sorry, sorry, Nilofar, I know I, I love you and you know your support, you're a great supporter of our channel. I just disagree with you here. Uh, at this point, and I hope you can accept my disagreement with you. Ooh, this is bad. Fiziko is race is saying she's a racist c word. Well, you. That's not the nice. Okay. Um, okay. Let's read Red Fox's comment, and that would be the last one. Uh, not sure about Elon Omar, but trying to destroy Israel doesn't mean a person is at trying to destroy Israel doesn't mean a person is anti-Semitic. Destroy Israel? Jesus! Um, you mean criticize Israel? Okay, I would have agreed with this sa statement if Red Fox is saying, but trying to criticize Israel doesn't mean a person is anti-Semitic. Religion was never a part of our 
ethnicity or race, but the point about Israel and Palestine totally convinced me that she's trying to destroy for purpose. What she's doing is anti-Semitic. So is trying to destroy Palestine and make us Islamophobe. How pathetic it Oh, so okay. I think he, I think what you're saying is okay, I don't know what you're saying, but I don't think she's trying to destroy um, she never said anything that she suggested that she wants to destroy. I think all of this <coughs> this whole thing would have been a lot better if you just replaced destroy or criticize. So I'm gonna rephrase you know what Red, Red Fox is saying and I say I would agree. If you criticize Israel, that doesn't suggest you're an anti-Semite anti at all. In fact, there is no country that doesn't have something that you can and I mean, Every country has its problems and worthy of criticism. And some people, and I acknowledge that some people are anti-Semitic and they're, high, they're criticizing Israel because they're anti-Semitic. So some people are like that. And some people are hiding their racism under, you know, you know covering it with their criticism of, eight, of Israel. But that doesn't mean that everybody, that anybody that... Uh, I also know the other side is true, that a lot of people are trying to accuse people of being, having anti-Semitic views um, as a way to defend Israel. And they just use that anti-racism and anti-Semitic accusation loosely to everybody. Uh, just, you know, even anybody that criticizes Israel. So both extremes are right. Some people think that um, you should not criticize Israel or else, uh, if you do, you're an anti-Semite. And some people think like, and some people are actual anti-Semites and they're hiding it by criticizing Israel. So both extremes are true. Um, I, I also think that a lot of people, are, I've noticed the same people, same individuals are being hypocrites on this because a lot of people that constantly um, you know, say that oh we're being and oh we're racist now. Everybody that criticizes Islam is racist. So that's bullshit. Islam is not a race. Uh, this is not bigotry. We're just fighting ideas. Um, you know, I say that as well, right? A lot of people, you know, I get accused of being racist all the time um, because I attack Islam. Um, but now the same people that said that that's bullshit and they're right that when they say that's bullshit. Now when somebody goes and criticizes Israel, they're calling that person racist. And I'm like, wait, what happened? I thought you guys were against uh, just baseless accusations of racism. I, I guess if, if, if it's coming, I mean, you have to be consistent with your, uh, with your um, standards, right? It's just, just because I think it's the left-right thing, right? So if, if, left, if leftists start doing it and calling people racist without proof, or baseless accusation of racism, we're like, oh, these leftists call everybody racist, uh, and it's true that a lot of not a, not all of them, but a lot of people on the left do that. But now you're doing the same thing. Now the people on the right are calling a lot of uh, leftists, um, you know, anti-Semites because you know just just because they criticize Israel. So you know, it seems like you you didn't learn from the, you were a victim of it, and now you, you didn't learn from it. You know, but people. People are being very tribal, right? So you see it. You see that this is these accusations of racism are baseless when it's done on your tribe, when it's done against against your tribe. But then you excuse it when it's done against someone else's tribe, and you actually uh, support that. So yeah, maybe be a little bit more consistent with your standards. Both of them are wrong, in my opinion. And again, I'm not saying Elon is not an anti-Semite. I'm just saying she hasn't proven it that she is. You know, like I, you need to be, you need to be charitable with the way you, you know, you just take people at their word. Uh, you know, you just accept people, but you just judge people by their word, right? You know, just be charitable, just give give them the best, uh, you know, the benefit of the doubt, unless they tell you that they hate this group of people. Don't call people racist. And I know they still might be racist, um, but you can't just read people's mind, and it's just better to. Not assume, uh, unless people just make it extra, absolutely clear to you and just they tell you, right? Other than that, and it's fair to say sometimes that some people, even if they're not racist, everything they're doing is resulting in something a racist person would do. And you can point that out without calling them a racist. 
if they haven't shown that they're racist, you could be like, yeah, listen, I don't know if you're racist or not, but everything you're doing and saying is, um, is you know, resulting in something ba bad to do to uh, these group of people. You can point that out as well, as long as you're being very clear that you don't really know if they're racist themselves, right? So, so make sure you add that uh, to your to your to your um, to your statement. Anyways, I'm not gonna go any longer. Comment. Let me know where I was wrong and why you think I was wrong. And if you agree, let me know if you agree. And also, a few uh, recommendations for questions. Uh, for and subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. And recommend our YouTube channel to other people. Really, really helps. And uh, thank you. And see you again next time. Yeah, just like this. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.